What is going on everybody, this is Sadoji and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to cover one of the most laziest healer in the game and that is the Priest Dual Deputy Bills. Now first things first, let me go ahead and break down the basic core of this build. This build heavily focused on giving your party the cooldown buff and the speed reduction buff from the Asherine Demon Alignment Statues. Now the best thing about this build is actually the Grass Art. The Grass Art Healing Garden actually combines both factor of the skills, scaling and then healing factor at the same time. So right Right now I have 484 skill factor and then 147.4% for healing factor. Now if you combine them, you get at least 600% over of a healing factors. That is a lot. And this magic circle lasts 14 seconds. Now you imagine this because my skill is already at 16 seconds because I have a quota reduction uh, buff on the statues. And with that, I can just wait one or two seconds later on. And then I can just crash the grass again. So we're gonna build a re statue again. I'm gonna cast a cranstone because it gives one extra skills for my statues. Right here. Okay, we should be good to go to go. And my skills should have 15 seconds. 15 second cooldown on a grass skills. And like I mentioned before, the grass also get an extra skills from the handstones. So right now the magic duration is 14.6. That is almost 15 seconds. Alright folks, let's go ahead and get into the skill bell. Now for the skill bells, I actually max out heals, guardian saying one point to fate, and then the rest of the skill point going to here. Now I gotta be honest with this, I rarely use here. Here is not even worth investing. Unless you do GCW with this chart doesn't do GCW or PvP content. And I do recommend investing the rest of your point into fate instead if you are just focused on PvE. And another thing is that there is no debuff in this game considered a huge threat to myself or to my party unless you are doing PvP content against Wugushis with thus insane amount of poison damage that you might want to consider using Cure. But then again, Cure is not worth it. And then for my attribute levels, I have level 50 for Guardian Sing and then level 50 for heals as well as I max out Healinger. I also have a Phase Shift as well, but I rarely use this unless I'm doing a Scare Clips. Uh, when Scare Clips does like one shot mechanics and I, I'm not even in the center or in the medals, I might consider using this to kind of like uh, uh, do an iframe. Yeah, kind of like iframe to one of the uh, one shot OP skill from Scare Clips. So that is really optional, that's up to you. Personally, I do not use Phase Shift. All right, for the draw, I maxed out grabs. This is all you need to be honest because I actually max out the standard builds like DPS Force Draw and I barely use any of the skills except for Handstone. Handstone and Grass, that is all I use. And then for Grass, make sure to unlock the Healing Grass Art, the Healing Garden. So this way you can combine both skill and healing factor at the same time to get an extra healing uh, bonus power. And then for the uh, attribute points, I actually did have the grass art right here and then make sure to unlock this a new plant type otherwise your grass will make monster into plant type and that is even worse because plant type has so much critical resistance <laughs> so make sure to unlock this even if you even if you're using this skill to heal or damage just unlock it just just unlock this to make sure because because that's just it <laughs> I, has, I had a few times where I used the grass for damage and healing at the same time and I actually convert every single monster into plant and it was the worst moment of, um, of my gaming experience because I was actually killing monster without having a, enough critical ray and I kept asking myself why aren't they dying why can't I land a crit so yeah make sure to unlock this and then uh, for the grass enhance make sure to unlock level 50 if you can get it to level 100 that is even better because more skill killing mean more damage. More damage mean more healing for the grass art. And then pretty much that's it. You, if you want to unlock Demi Human, go ahead and go that go for that. Demi Human is actually pretty good because you're getting that extra healing, 2% maximum HP for every 8 seconds. So that is that's pretty good some cases for yourself. And then for the priest, I actually does have a very high level turn there because I use discharge for dimensional class point. If this is something that you want to do as well, you might as well to invest, uh, to invest some of the point into turn that I do have one point to blessings, sacraments, and then that's about it. For the rest of the skill, which is include aspersions, resurrections, and then revive as well as the mass heals, I max those out. And I barely unit a tribute, as you can see here, I barely invest anything to into the attribute level so you don't, don't necessarily need this because all you need to do is using this revive mass heals aspersions and some of the buffs etc 
not necessarily not necessarily needed but it's good achievements is good if you have it deputies deputy builds <laughs> very very straightforward because all the set you ever needed is the asherines lima and zena these are the three statues that you have me. I actually have a level skill point and I will let you invest into carve outs, but you know what? I'm just gonna leave it there. That's all you need because this is all the statue you ever needed. You can also invest one point into a Vakarines. Excuse me, back uh, Vakarines. You can actually invest into uh, Vakarines for teleporting home. Is this good? Yes. I just I just feel like, you know, one extra point doesn't really hurt. So yeah. So for the skill combinations, make sure to use the uh, Handstorm first, Guardian Sings, Zenma, Asherite first, and then uh, Zenman after, and then Lima, and then you have a really, really good uh, buff on your character as well as your party because it has a huge LE. Next, you can just gotta buff your party with Sacrament, Aspersion, Blessings, and from here, just, just drop your grass and heal. That's it. That's pretty much it for these combos. Also, if your party doesn't have a really good defense, even though you have a really good healing power, you might want to consider using revive. So this way, they can, you can keep them alive, and they don't get one shot in automatically. You can also use resurrections. Resurrections should be your second choice to go. By the way, you should not be using resurrection first. Resurre resurrection first because revive is much better. Because this is a like buff. Whenever they die they will automatically revive with 50% uh, HP as well as not taking any damage against anything for 5 seconds and that's really good and then you have mass heal mass heal should be your second choice of healing third choice excuse me because you have grass and if your whole party is taking so much damage then I would consider using math heals and then last option should be your heal and that's it that should be good to go all right, folks, on to the equipment. Now, just keep in mind, I don't have a really good healing equipment. I'm actually using my main DPS equipment, which include attack set effects, and then come with a con SPR status for random and fixed anchor. This is really good because the only stat you ever needed for a healer is con and SPR. So for all four pieces, the weapon and the trinket is pretty straightforward. The trinket doesn't have any SPR or con status, so it's like out of the line, but it's still pretty good. And then we have the main weapon, which has con and SPR status, as well as Kushida of Life Water, which give con and SPR status as well. And that's really good. Now for my art, it's still level one, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I actually should have gotten level three art, so I can get that extra healing, which is even better. For my burst of seals, it's plus 3, but you only need plus 1 to get that extra 15% healing power, so that is really good. Now, for the accessory, for all the beginner healer, you need to get this accessory. This is the best early, mid, lane, whatever you want to call, best healing accessory right now for healers. Compared to Morning Ponya, that might be late on if you're using mass heal, but this accessory is the best starting accessory for healer. You can actually get it from the Mercenary Bastards, which is located right here, right next to the map. So go ahead and click on that. And these accessory for the necklace, it costs about 60,000 Mercenary Badges. For the bracelet, it costs around 40,000. It's extremely cheap. You can just do uphills, like a very hard mode version, and you can instantly get the uh, bracelet, like 40,000 straight up. Uh, for the bracelet, it might take a week or two, but for every single week, you can easily obtain these. This is the best healing beginner healing set in the game right now just keep that in mind all right so just in case before we go further please do not you let us set you need to use a cloud armor cleric have a cloud armor arcs which allow them to convert their physical and magic attack five percent from physical and magic attack into healing power that is really good now you imagine this right now i have twenty six thousand. Five percent risk is around hold on let me do calculations Maybe it's around 1,000 something, I don't know. And then we have physical attack, 5% from that, converted into healing power. You're getting more healing power directly by having a cloud armor. So please, use cloud armor, do not use play armor, do, you, do not use letter armor, use the cloud armor instead. And that's really good. And then for appearance, I don't have anything. Basically, it, the support, a support character should not have any hair accessory. Car, I don't have any car, I do not have a legend car. Like I said again, legends, 
excuse me, support build, do not use cars. Unless you're a very specific uh, support build, like going straight into the legend run, you might want to consider using cars. But right now, this is just a CM farming build, like a PvP straight up, just like being lazy and such. That's it. You don't need any car, you don't need any appearance, accessory. You can look cool, by the way. If you want to look cool, you can just drop uh, some of this stuff on here. All right, folks, we're into the game. We are actually getting into stage seven right now. At this point, I'm going to just bump my team real quick. And go ahead and drop the grass here. So my team can receive some major healings. Now, if you look on the left, my team is taking a ton of damage and the grass is keeping them alive. Like constantly healing over, over and again. Make sure to buff, use the revive buff to keep your party alive as well, just in case it, if they don't get one shot it. And then once my grass is down, just drop another one and use mass heal if you have to, just like this once. If you already noticed that, I'm not even moving around. I'm just letting the grass art kill, my, kill myself as well as my party, which is really good. Make sure to use the handstone as well. The handstone is pretty important because it also affects the magic circle skills like this one. Right now it's level 16, which is really good, by the way, because I'm getting extra damage with also scale with the uh, grass art. If you already noticed that my foreign sense healing factor is also increased, so that's really, really good. So just go ahead, drop the handstone and pop the grass and just just sit and chill basically you just basically chill and chill because you, you don't have to do anything and we playing pretty quick because my team don't have to worry about themselves oh wow that's someone almost almost died so my team don't have to worry about themselves because i'm here to keep them stealth, keep them as healthy as possible now i know a lot of people who run oracle deputies and priest build for west jungle but west jungle does more damage compared to shelter and shelter can be very difficult sometimes because of the bosses but for uh, for the west Jungles, it's not it's not a problem at all oh wow like this one <laughs> so just drop the grass mass healing boom your team is fully recovers oops i gotta gotta keep myself light here oh my gosh somebody got one shot it already <laughs> i didn't see that coming all right just drop the grass Ooh, ouch 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 my grass is doing around 50,000, 60,000, and I don't even have healing gears by the way, except for my con accessory. Oh, yeah, for all the new players, if you're looking for a really cheap accessory for healer, get a con accessory. You can get, actually get one of these accessories from the mercenary bat shops, and they cost around pretty decent amount of mercenary badges, but you can easily get them. All right, we are running for another one. Nice, so we pretty much just clear the CMOs. And for all the players who's interested in being lazy in CMOs and looking for a really decent healer build, this build might be for you. Well, with that being said, this is Sanushin once again, and I will see you all in the next videos. Later!